In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Adidas X Speed Flows, the Nike Mercurial Superfly 9s, and the Puma Ultra Pros. These are my three favorite new boots from each of these different brands, and we're going to find out which one is the best. Okay, let's get straight into it. So first up today, we've got the Puma Ultra Pro SGs. Now, these ones are straight out of the box. Very good looking boots. They're lovely, lovely color. I chose these ones because of the color. Funny thing is, it's actually been years since I wore a pair of Pumas. This is what the studs look like. You can see 12 studs. These are a beautiful pair of boots. Cannot wait to get these on and do some tech. Let's do it. All right, so let's get the boots on. Can't wait for this. You can see this is snug to get in, but once it's on, it fits like a glove. Hey, first impression, really comfortable, really snug. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Let's go. Okay, so first touch is on the ball. Yeah, these are comfortable. These are my kind of boots, man. Touch on these is amazing. Really snug around the foot, which I like in a boot. Really lightweight, like I said, I feel sharp, I feel fast. And yeah, straight out of the box, I feel comfortable wearing these. Sometimes it takes a while to wear in boots, but with these, I'm really enjoying them straight from the off. So when it comes to touch, I'm giving the Puma Ultra Pros five stars out of five. These are lovely. So that's the shooting done with the Puma Ultra Pro FGs. As you can see, straight out of the box, really easy to strike with. Let's try a few free kicks. Woo! That's the one. I'm telling you, these boots. Yeah, boy. So that's it for the Puma Ultra Pros. So for shooting, I'm gonna give these boots 4.5 stars out of five. So next up, we've got the Nike Mercurial Superfly 9 FGs. Now, these are a boot that I really love. I've actually made a couple of videos recently wearing these bad boys, which you might have seen. So these ones have been worn a few times. They're not fresh out of the pack, but they're pretty new. Let's get them on and do a review. So there's a little bit more space in these than the Puma Ultra Pros. So it's got to come down to personal preference, how snug you like your boots. But these are still very, very snug. If they weren't, I wouldn't like them because I like a boot that really wraps around your foot. And these absolutely do that. Right, let's go. And tell you what, I do enjoy these boots. They've got everything. My skills, touch, shooting, passing, accuracy, you name it. I love these boots. See the bend, these boots, I feel like I've got really good control with the shooting with these boots. The surface area which you're using to strike with, perfect for me. Sometimes you put a pair of boots on and you strike and you feel a bit unsure of yourself. With these, I feel super confident that I can get the ball to go where I want it to go or there or thereabouts. the Nike Mercurial Superflies. Now, onto the Adidas. These are the Adidas Speedflow 1 FGs. And again, I've actually worn these a couple of times. They're still pretty new, but they're not fresh out of the box. They're a little bit worn in, and you might have seen me using these in a couple of recent videos, as well as the Nike Mercurial Superflies. I love this boot, and I can't wait to give it a proper review. So let's put them on and get tested. These probably go on the easiest out of the three, I'd say. Comfort levels, incredible. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> on these, the 
hatches are in. Let's test the touch. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, boy. These boots are all absolutely incredible. I picked them for a reason because these are my style of football boots. Obviously, a football boot has got to be something that's very personal to you and it's very subjective which ones you will have a preference for. As for me, with these boots, when it comes to comfort, I'm going to give the Mercurial Superflies five stars out of five stars. As comfortable as any boots I've ever worn. The Puma Ultra Pros, I'm going to give them 4.5 stars out of five for comfort. But the main reason for that, I think I need to go half a size up. So I would recommend if you buy these boots uh, that you go half a size up because they do come up quite snug. But I think if I go half a size up, these will be a five out of five stars for comfort as well. And for comfort, I'm also going to give the Adidas X Speed Flows five stars out of five stars. Super comfortable, no problems, no blisters, nothing, no chafing. <laughs> Brilliant, extremely comfortable. So five stars out of five stars for those for comfort. When it comes to touch, I'm going to give the Mercurial Superflies a massive five stars out of five stars. I love doing skill moves in these boots. I feel like I've got a real good sense of the ball. I've got a real good feel for the ball through the uh, through the boot. Five stars out of five for touch for the Mercurial Superflies. For the Puma Ultra Pros, I'm also going to give five stars out of five stars for touch because as soon as I put them on straight out of the box, uh, I felt comfortable on the ball. The touch was in and the control was there. So yeah, these actually had a disadvantage versus these two because these have both been worn in a little bit, whereas these ones came straight out of the box today that I still felt extremely comfortable wearing them. And I didn't actually feel like I even need to take time to wear them in. Straight out of the box, I felt really good wearing these ones. And then the Adidas X Superflows, again, five stars out of five for touch. Really good to do skills in and the control was there with these boots. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. Five stars out of five for touch for the Adidas X Superflows. For shooting, I have to give all three boots five stars out of five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed shooting with each and every boot. And you've seen in this video that the striking felt good. The accuracy was good. I have no complaints for any of these boots, so they have to get top marks. Five stars out of five for shooting for all three pairs of boots. And finally, we come to the aesthetics, how the boots look. Again, this is totally subjective, but for me, I actually bought all of these boots and I bought them for a reason because I love how they look. And I also thought that I would really uh, find them comfortable and good to play in. And I was right. They're all fantastic boots and they've all got unique looks and they're they're all pretty sexy to be honest. So we'll start with the Nike Mercurial Superflies. I love white football boots. For me, that's my favorite colorway normally in the boots. I'm giving these five stars out of five for appearance. I love the, uh, the luminous pink and blue. It really pops. Now we come on to the Puma Ultra Pros. Now normally, like I said, I like white boots, but I'm gonna make an exception for these because this luminous turquoise color just pops. And then you've got this luminous yellow green color on the sole. It just really stands out. If you wear these boots on a pitch, you are bound to stand out. And that can be the difference sometimes with a scout noticing you or not. And also for me personally, when I wear bright colored boots, it makes me feel sharper and faster as opposed to wearing black boots. And like they always say, if you feel good, it gives you that much more chance of playing good. For these boots, five stars out of five for the design and aesthetics. And then finally, the Adidas X Superflows. Again, they're a white boot with some cool details. You know that they're already winning half the battle as soon as they do a white side though. And for me, I'm gonna give these five stars out of five as well for their appearance. They also go really well with this blue Arsenal jacket, which I love to wear. It kind of completes the look. All three of them, five stars out of five for design and aesthetics from me. But guys, what do you think? Which boot is your favorite out of these three? Which boot do you think you would prefer the most? Put it in the comments section below. Which boot do you like the look of the most? Let me know your thoughts and also let me know if you enjoyed this boot review and if you want me to do more. And if so, which boots should I review next? Guys, as always, thank you so much for your love and support. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.